Hey guys, welcome to your Xcode 4 tutorials here with Jake and my bring back. And today we're going to go over the ARC. And if you don't know what the ARC is, it's basically the automatic reference counting. And you've probably seen the past tutorials, you know, we've kind of blown through this first set of options here where I was like, yeah, just click all three and you guys will be good for it. Well, I want to go in and explain what the ARC is. And so as you guys click this or unchecked it, um, you may have seen some stuff from our coding, how it was a little bit different from how it is now. And uh, that's that's what the ARC does. The ARC is, is basically a memory management thing. And it's new to Xcode 4.2, which it makes it a little bit more simpler. Now some of the more advanced programmers are going, oh, this is a joke, you know, it just makes it easier for programmers to you know not worry about memory and stuff like that well yeah so it is but also it also helps us newer you know some of the newer programmers out there to get a grasp of what's going on and uh, you know develop programs you know so it's a two-sided sword there anyways what the ARC is is it's basically a new compiler feature and within this it uh, it allows the memory management of the objects and stuff it kind of handles it you know as it is that's why they they put automatic instead of manual and so basically rather than having to think about the you know the retain and release operations of objects now you basically just concentrate on the core of the coding and so you know as you develop your projects we're just gonna put in here something uh, test here um, you develop your projects I guess we've already got a test, test one, two, three, and uh, we'll get that going. So it basically makes the coding and the memory management not as much of a headache. And so that's what I want to explain to you now. So as we go through, and let's say you go to your implementation, and you go down, you, you don't see a void deallocate. And in the past, you would, you would allocate an object, and then you would have to go through and you'd have to release that object so it wouldn't get tied up in the memory and cause the the application to crash and all that stuff so that's kinda what it's about now I brought up here the ARC from the developer.apple site and you know it's a it's a beautiful chart because they go from the manual reference counting which this is what we used to have to do is you know you'd have to retain and you have to release your memory and all that stuff and you see how like it would just take an immense amount of time to go through and figure all that stuff out to now when they they put in this new automatic reference counting and now it takes you know half the you know a quarter of the time less to develop these applications so that's kind of the basics to the ARC um, and kind of gives you a brief overview as to you know how much easier it is for you guys to just get out there put in the code you do not have to you know mess as much with the memory management now don't get me wrong there's still some memory management stuff you have to work on but uh, definitely takes out the core of that so you guys can develop these applications quickly and efficiently so uh, that's kinda of the ARC hopefully you guys uh, you know don't get too tied up with that if you do have any questions you know shoot us an email we'll try to help you out with that Alright, we'll catch you guys later. Be good.